Oh, how I've missed you guys so much. Welcome back to the channel. It's been long enough to the point where I don't even know where we left off, but I know for sure I haven't done a vlog like this in like a year, but so much has happened. I, I just have so much to share with you. Today's gonna be a pretty chill day. I don't have anything too crazy on the agenda. This is more of a Sunday reset. Now there is something important that I wanna discuss. This is the big decision that I have to make. I am going to clean house with my representation. I have to make a big decision for the own sake of my career. Just haven't been feeling acting for a minute and instead of damage my relationships and kind of go about it, I'm not gonna say it in a lackadaisical way, but my heart's just not in it anymore. And I would rather be upfront and just let my team know that because I don't wanna waste anybody's time. Burning bridges is a real thing. And it's like, if you continue to let something go on for too long, by default, it could potentially damage your reputation and the relationships that you've established. I'd rather step up, be upfront, and just be like, you know what? Thank you guys so much, but my focus is, is just in different areas now. And I'm gonna tell you why. During the pandemic, it tripped me out that everything shut down. I don't know how everything is going to go, but I know once I make this move, I will at least free myself of this burden that's been on my shoulders. I've lost sleep about this because I know I haven't been able to put my 100% effort into it because I've been grieving and I've just been going through life. It's coming up on my father's one year anniversary, you know, since his passing. So emotions have been running high but somehow there's been some type of balance. It made me want to lean more into my own projects and like my personal projects, passion projects that I could potentially turn into something versus sitting and just waiting around for that call to be like, hey, Hollywood's open again. You can get started. I'm like, that's cool. On top of that, we had strikes. We had the pandemic, got the ball rolling again, and then we jumped into a strike. So there's been a lot of ups and downs in this business as a whole that were completely out of my control and everybody else's. But it really made me want to dial in and be like, hey, you can't be reliant on this. You have to build something for yourself. You have to you have to create something. You have to create a, a product that you really believe in. This is my folder for my external hard drive. Got a bunch of different stuff in here. Kind of got a label by category. You know, we got fashion, fitness, food content, um, intros outros for youtube i got one full of collection two let's add i like to stay organized logo packs put that in there now i'm gonna blow these up so you can see them on here this is one of the logos that i put together last night and i'm loving this one i think it's super edgy this one is gonna be fucking fire but let me know what y'all think in the comments so this is page one Page one of the logo deck. So scratch the one that I showed you before. Let me blow it all the way up. Where's my mouse? We got the official one. And then I got a little crazy and just started to play around with designs, man. But I finally found what I was looking for. I would love this on a canvas. Camp Savage members only, checker flag joint. This one is going to be insane. That's like top three to me. It's like a Pac-Man looking joint. This one is gonna be dope. My girl's father is a genius, okay? He always says these random phrases and he made this shit up. Stop chasing tents, chase yachts. I know you've probably seen a design similar to this one. This is usually red, but I switched it up and added my own little flair. Now let me show you logo pack two. Okay, so this is page two. All right, so this is where you see the one I just showed you and I added this one or even like in the front, like the small logo in the front on the left side, you know I'm a car fanatic. Well, if you didn't know I'm a car fanatic, I'm letting you know now. So I had to throw something with the automotives in there. That one's pretty chill, a little simple. You guys are pretty much seeing all of this first. That's the whole premise of what I'm doing on the YouTube now. I'm just documenting and it feels good because I can show you guys what I'm working on and bring you in on this. And I can only show you so much in the shorts, TikTok, Instagram. I wanna be able to elaborate. I can't do that in seven to 10 seconds. I hope you like these. Let me know. Give me some feedback. I take all criticism. I, I don't mind. I don't care. So the next thing I need to do, I need to put these on mock-ups. I need to pick the garments I'm going to utilize first, and then I'm going to put the measurements and everything together on the tech pack, send it off to my team, and we can get this ball rolling. The main reason 
I've been leaning more into this YouTube and creating the merch is because this is my self-expression. This is what I enjoy doing. And I'm just leaning into it more than ever. And I have all these ideas that just keep flowing and going. But instead of just thinking about them and then shelving them because I'm afraid of what may or may not happen. I'm like, when I think about it, if it's like a concept like this and I can create a visual, boom, let me put it out, put it in Canva. Let me see what it looks like first. And then we can build that that sample so I can show you an official prototype. All right, I finally found what I was looking for. This may be kind of hard to see based on the color of the mock-ups and the background, but this kind of gives you an idea of what I'm talking about. I like that hoodie. I think I'm gonna snag that front and back. I'm not crazy about zip-ups, but the Letterman jacket could potentially be one. We are definitely doing trucker hats. I like that work jacket too. They have sneaker mock-ups if you want to go that route, which I think is pretty dope. Now you have to order like 300 samples, but I mean, if that's what you want to do, why not? Fuck it, slides. So I have to send my team a couple designs with the hoodie. I'm gonna pick a couple of these tees. Might do cropped, might do the regular joint, a couple hats, and that's how we gonna rock out. I think I like this one. This is a really good one. Let me send this to myself. Oversized, short sleeves, high mock neck t-shirt, okay. 6.5 ounces, 100% cotton. So this will be mock-ups. Hi y'all. I was sitting at that desk for way too long. <laughs> I took a gummy and that shit allows me to focus and lock in, but I'm hungry. So I'm trying to figure out if I'm gonna go to Tender Greens or Tokayo. Now the caveat is I get vouchers at both places because they're under the same umbrella. So you know, it's a little perk. It's a little perk of being an influencer. You get to join the influencer program. I'm not gonna say it's free food because I do have to create content, but I'm talking like 500, 600, sometimes $800 per month in vouchers. That's less money that I have to spend on food. So that's my go-to. Now, at Tokaya, I can use the vouchers on alcohol. Now, Tender Greens, they're a little more iffy on that one. So that's not, I don't think that's a thing. I believe I, I don't think I can do it. I don't think I can do it. Well, that sounds like a no-brainer. Sunday, Sunday fun day. Let's go get a pitcher of sangria or something. We're gonna go to Tokaya. I'll see y'all there. So we are back at the crib. Had to go to Tokaya real quick. Get some food in my system. Had a little sangria, some queso, a couple of birria tacos. That might have been a sangria. Now I'm about to wrap up what I was doing a little earlier, the mock-ups. I'm probably gonna resume this vlog tomorrow. But yo, I gotta let y'all in on a secret. See, baby girl over here doesn't know that she has carne asada tacos. I got her four. She probably won't eat the tortilla, but Let's see her reaction. Hold on. Hey, what you doing? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Four carne asada tacos. Okay, sit. Sit. Do the dance. What's going on, man? Not much. I'm excited to uh, to meet today. Got some exciting updates. That's what's up, bro. Let's do it. More or less, most of the facelift for the new or the updated website. Mm. Uh, other than that, what are your, what are your thoughts on this? I'll uh, I'll scroll through slowly. Uh, yeah, I like I like this. It's uh it's cleaner and it's just straight to the point. Second thing, going to the tech or not the tech pack, the, the logo package that you sent over. Right now, I mean, I actually enjoy doing it. You know what I mean? I just I just kind of get lost in it. And I didn't even mean to create that many. I just, I, I had some references and I was in that mode and I was just like, fuck it. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna give you like 30 right off the bat that we can just rotate through and then we can create more. You know what I mean? So like that that process I enjoy, so I don't, I don't have a problem doing that. So we can, yeah, we can keep that going then. Um, and then moving forward, like you have access to the social media so you can do that. And if you want us to ever add stuff, 
onto uh, the tech packs to send to the manufacturers. I mean, it, it would just be similar similar to the, the, the form document I sent you. If you want to just add those logos to documents as you're filling out all that information, um, that will help us kind of understand what you want next line, if that makes sense. Yeah. 